Hi guys, in today's reading, um, we're going to take a look and see what messages are coming up for you at this particular point in time. It is a general reading, so please keep mindful. If you're after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. At the bottom of the deck is the Three of Cups. There is definitely, this is a very celebratory, celebratory energy. You're definitely going to be celebrating. Celebrating some good news, celebrating your success, or perhaps the success of someone very close to you. There could be an invitation that's being extended your way. Um, a social invitation to, I don't know, it could be like a milestone birthday. It could be a special occasion. It could be a wedding. Uh, could be yours. Could be someone... Um, close to you but I definitely feel you're very happy you're in a happy place perhaps a place you haven't necessarily been in for a long time I also see that wherever you are you are surrounded with your people you know your tribe people whom you love people that you choose people that choose you so this is something I feel like this is an upcoming event. I don't think this has happened yet. And I think this is going to be a very memorable event. I don't think this is something that's happening in the next couple of days or weeks. I think it's months away. I feel like maybe even, you know, three, three or more months away. And even though it feels like a long time, I feel like it's worth the wait. Because whatever it is that you're doing now, like your present energy is... I don't know it's going to get you to this place for some of you this is yes this is a social invitation um for others of you i feel like you're celebrating it's like people are toasting you and your success and your achievements so i don't know it could be uh a ceremony where you're being awarded something you're being recognized or where you're really proud of your um personal achievements and your success and your friends or family might throw you a party and um, maybe an intimate gathering, but you're celebrating something that you've accomplished, a personal success or an achievement of some sort. Um, but I also feel like you're going to enter, a ha it's a happy place, okay? I get that very strongly for you. You're going to enter a time in your life where you're truly happy. I mean joyous, I mean really happy, not just content, but really happy and really satisfied with life and with where you are and with the different relationships in your life, like romantic and professional and the relationships you have with your family members, the friendships. You're in a place, and even the relationship, and most importantly, the relationship you have with yourself. You're in a really, really good place here. The energy that you are radiating is warm is it's pal it's palpable picking up people are picking up on it eight of wands there's also this energy of things happening very quickly for you okay um i feel like you know the saying when it rains it pours i feel like once once something starts happening um it's gonna pick up a lot of momentum um once something starts working out for you or an opportunity starts showing up for you it's going to get a lot of momentum it's going to get a lot of this is this thing has a lot of energy um it could be some sort of opportunity that you've been waiting for it could be a new love a new romance that uh, you've been wanting to attract it could be someone coming back into your life 
it could be you might be reconnecting with a, an old friend an old flame um you might meet someone new and it's just you're really going to hit it off with this person whether it's a romantic energy or a friend um yeah you could also be some of you i feel like you might be reattracting a past energy or an ex back into your life someone whom you still have a lot of I feel like you still have a very strong connection to this person and i feel like energetically you're, you're tied to this person uh, so someone could be coming back into your life i do see there's a lot of there's a lot of communication there's a lot of contact here guys um some of you could be getting a new job where i feel like it's in communications or it requires a lot of communications some of you could honestly land a communications specialist role or in customer service or like admin where it requires a lot of contact um, a lot of communication if you have if you're self-employed and if you have your own business your business is getting uh, a lot of traction here you're going to be communicating with a lot of people and so you might feel like you need to hire someone to help you out because there's a lot of communication back and forth between you and whoever these people are or this person if it's a new romantic energy this is someone whom you're going to have not only a strong emotional compatibility with but the two of you are just going to get on like house on fire it's this person themselves could be very talky very chatty but i think you have a lot to talk about with this person and and maybe that explains you know an ex coming back because it feels like there's been so like so much time has passed between the two of you and you both have a lot to catch each other up on um or if it's a new person then this is someone who will just chat your ear off but it's like this person feels very similar to you in a way because it's like yeah they're very similar personality wise they're very similar to you the both of you are going to be very chatty with each other you're going to be like finishing off each other's sentences someone who yeah it does feel like this potentially could be a soulmate energy someone whom you someone whom you just click with someone whom you feel like is just closely aligned to who you are and you know the type of person that you want to be and where you're going in life someone who is this person has a very loving nature about them this person radiates love and warmth this is someone whom you're going to be very drawn to they may not be the best looking out of the bunch right but there's just something about them that you will feel magnetically drawn to this person a very strong chemistry a very strong energy very strong attraction very strong magnetic pull could be their charisma could be their personality it could be their looks or it could be the way they carry themselves could be any of the above um could be none of the above could be something else but whatever it is you're really really attracted to this person you're very drawn to this person for reasons you might not even be able to explain uh the caveat here being is this might feel a little bit too intoxicating too consuming and maybe this is because you and this person are in the honeymoon phase of the connection um, maybe this energy won't stick around or be careful be careful because this is someone whom you might become a little obsessed with someone whom you might feel like you're just intoxicated on their love and intoxicated with them a very addictive quality to whatever this is some of you i feel like i don't know there's a lot okay there's page of swords and the eight of wands energy this is some of you have an opportunity that is really going to take off i feel like this is more maybe it's like a hobby or this is more for those of you like writing sales politics like communications digital communication maybe even marketing stuff like that where i feel like it it's just going to especially if it's like a, your own business or if it's something that you do like if it's a project that you've just decided to like no one's hired you to do this it just feels like you're doing it on your own this is really going to take off for you 
some of you I also feel like there's an uh, opportunity where you have to travel because eight of wands is air travel right so there's an opportunity where you have to travel that is going to be very inspirational and very motivational for you especially if you're like a writer or I don't know, a, a blogger or a vlogger anything like that it's going to really inspire you it could be a new country or it could be within the same country but like it's a new scenery or a change of scenery and this is going to be very inspirational very motivational um, for others of you you might be presented with an opportunity where you have to travel to meet with meet with someone regarding this opportunity meet with the i don't know with the with an executive or with the manager or have that interview but it feels like you're going to have to travel a distance some of you are going back to something that you love or someone that you love is coming back to you six of cups energy it's also a very strong air of nostalgia here some of you are going to find yourself feeling very very nostalgic now be careful because not for some of not for all of you but for some of you it does feel like this like it could be like a nostalgic depression like this really strong longing and it's almost very painful it's almost yeah very painful it's this strong longing or yearning to go back to a place that you maybe once grew up in or you once lived or go back to a place in your, or a point in your life maybe even go back and revisit your childhood or who you were as a child try and reconnect with that um, I don't know it, it feels very intense it feels very intense it feels very overwhelming um, so there's this strong air of nostalgia you might hear from someone someone might connect with you and reach out to you from out of the blue and they may be they may bring in with them this nostalgia i just feel like be careful because some of you might find yourself just drowning under these waves of nostalgia just like really there's, there's missing someone or something and then there's like really missing it so it's like to the point where it's like you want to or at least emotionally recreate that moment in time you can never have the same moment twice so for those of you that are feeling that way maybe let that be what it was you can go back and revisit it in your mind but you cannot go back and un un unpack your bags and stay there whatever this memory is it's it's a part of you but a strong energy of nostalgia to the point where you might be re-watching your favorite films just revisiting uh, like certain memories just talking um, talking about and if this is someone from the past it makes sense because it's like you're talking to this person about the things that you guys used to do you know the way that you guys used to be or just the places that you visit I feel like you're taking down a stroll you're taking a stroll down memory lane with someone or even just by yourself here maybe you don't need no company um, you're taking a stroll down memory lane I'm curious what you'll find there. I'm curious that, you know, some memories, if some memories feel like they're worth remembering, other memories don't stick out just as much. But there's something here that I feel like there's some sort of memory and it does feel a little bit painful or it feels like you ache for this. It's very interesting. It's a fascinating energy. But there's something here that you want to go back to. And it does feel like it's from your childhood or from your adolescent like adolescent days young um, adult days memories have a firm grip on you some of you because of this nostalgic energy it's going to prompt you to go back to something that you love to do as a kid Maybe it was drawing, maybe it was learning a particular instrument, maybe it was playing the flute, maybe it was writing, um, maybe it was like, you know, becoming a children's author. There's something that you wanted to do as a child, but as you grew up, the world said you couldn't do that or you shouldn't do that. But you're definitely reconnecting with the part of your childhood or with the person, with the child that you were, 
or you're reconnecting with that inner child that you still carry with you because you're still doesn't matter how old you are you're still that five-year-old you're still that 10 year old you're still that 18 year old you know it doesn't matter how old you are that those those chapters you know are still within you so you're going back to something that you love to do or you're going back to someone you still love or someone you love is coming back to you it's this energy of coming back home whatever this is whomever this is it feels like home. Um, some of you are going to be signing contracts or you're going to be, this is commitment, okay? This is a new love, a new relationship, a new romance, moving your current relationship into the next stage, you know, putting a ring on it, um, putting it on lock. This is commitment. If it's not a person, if it's not a relationship, then it certainly is something that you love. Going back to something that you love and committing to it this time around. Really committing and applying yourself to it. Writing that book you've always wanted. You know, playing that instrument you wanted to always play. You're really, you're really committing yourself. Some of you have been telling yourself that there's something here you should have, you want to get started on. And you've always been putting it off. You've always been saying one day, one day, one day, someday. That one day is now. It's day one. So you're finally committing to something. I, you could be, because of the Hierophant's energy, you might be going back to school. You might be learning a new skill. You might be taking on extracurricular activities. It might be further learning, further education. You might be this self-learning. It could be a self-taught energy. But you're definitely learning you're learning something okay you could also be learning things about yourself in the process as well because there's an energy of growth that's attached to this this is growing you um i just want to point out now this might not be for some of you but i think to those of you that can resonate with this i want to point out that there is something here that i feel like is locked away in your memory which is it might be hindering you or it might be blocking you. There's something in here that maybe has happened to you in your childhood. It can it can have a feeling of abandonment or it might have a very it might have had a very strong influence on your attachment style to this day, whether you're an avoidant or whether you're, you know, um, an anxious attachment or, you know, whatever this may be, but there's something here that has happened that I feel like and some of you might have experienced maybe abandonment or loss or um, or maybe it's just this memory you feel like you can't recreate. There's something here that I feel like is, is troubling you and it's pulling on your energy because it's wanting you to heal this pain. It's wanting you to resolve whatever this is. There is a shadow aspect. To the devil's energy you have to get to know the shadowy parts of yourself don't shun them bring out these whatever these are bring them out of the shadows and into the light so you can understand them and don't judge yourself for whatever this is you know don't 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 be so hard on yourself um, but there's definitely some sort of shadow aspect, something that maybe you feel ashamed of or maybe you feel a strong sense of guilt. It's a heavy energy and it weighs on you and you're trying to, maybe you're trying to suppress it, ignore it, pretend it's not there. Um, it, or maybe you're just trying to, you know, shove it into the darkness and hopefully you won't have to think about it or it's not seen. This needs to come out into the light. This is something that you need to confront. This is something you need to address. Because there's this, the way I see it, it's like a dark cloud that is hanging over your energy. And it's following you everywhere you go. It's like this dark cloud. It's like, I just remember the scene from Truman's show, right? Where it's just this dark cloud that tends to follow him. Um... 
whatever this is, you need to confront it. You need to address it. It's not going to leave you until you make peace with it. And I think for a lot of you, this this does tie in with that nostalgia. It does tie in with that nostalgia. You know, you're wanting to recreate something that it may be a very happy memory, but the fact that you ache for it and long for it might be saying something about your present life. I might be saying that, you know, you might need love. You might need someone to love or you might or you, you may feel as though you need people to love you. But it, there's definitely it's saying something about your present energy. It's saying something about where you are right now, your past. And ultimately, the past holds the key. It holds the answers to your present and your future. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support to the channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Bye for now.